I love that one of my sides of my head is want to get volume and the other one is just like Bleh. Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, and welcome if you are new. These types of videos pop up on my channel all the time. This is probably gonna be an extra because I have a stack of eyeshadow palettes I'm going through trying to do videos on. As you may or may not be able to tell already, um, I am ready for some eyeshadow. Everything but shadow and lashes and lip <laughs> is ready to go. I do have uh, eyeshadow primer and lip balm, chapstick, the oil, whatever you want to call it. So we're prepped, we're primed, we're ready, and I'm so excited because we're going to be playing with another Natasha Denona palette. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of nervous too. These look... And maybe it's just me. They're cool tones. I don't know why I open it. You can see it through the, the lit. They're cool tones. So I'm kind of just... Maybe. Maybe. I'm not a cool tone person. Maybe. I don't know. We're, we're I'm going to find out. We'll do it today. We're doing it right now. If you like this video, there is a playlist with a plethora... <laughs> of other eyeshadow videos, go check that out. I'm gonna pull my little hairs back so we can focus on my eyeshadow and um, just dig in here. Let's see. They all look pretty nice. Do you have shade names? Sort of. Ooh, I accidentally touched that one. Sort of. So, this palette, because I didn't mention it already, it's called Ayana. There are five shades, and I'm gonna, I imagine this is what their names are, because they're on the back, they're not listed on the front, but this is the order I think they go in. So Glam Green, uh, Crease, Satin Skin, Lash Line, Harlow. And the only reason I'm assuming that that's the way it goes is because for the green, this is the closest color to green I got. That's it. I mean, I kind of want to use all the colors. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's get down to business to defeat the hunt. And I don't know if I'm going to need such a gigantic mirror. I'm still going to... Nah. We'll do my tiny mirrors. My little Sailor Moon mirror, which wasn't originally Sailor Moon, it was AOA Studio, and I think it was a dollar, and I popped a Sailor Moon sticker on the back, so now it's like, fits my aesthetic. Not like I have an aesthetic going, but it also fits really well with this. Perfect. So let's, <laughs> let us begin. Let me grab one of these doodles, if I can get a rabbit over here. I love using the... I love using these little lash, or not lash, shadow cleaner brush. Quick color switch dry makeup brush cleaner. And all it is, it's like a tin or a container and it has like this little spongy material in here and it helps grab the pigment off of your brush that you've used. Kind of clean it off pretty well and then you can dip into another color without having to change brushes entirely. And I love it, I have like four on my desk here. Anyway, let's, let's begin. Um, I feel like we're going to go for a darker look. Yeah. Let me. Now that I saw the one that says lash line, what is it? This one? No. Yeah. Ooh, this is tough. You know what? We're just gonna go for this. I'm gonna start with this one here because I want to. And make sure we're doing good here. I'm gonna come in with this one because I want to. And we'll do crease. Yeah, we'll do crease and see where this goes. Yeah.
this is very nice i i like this i did have to dip back in twice on both sides just to build up the pigment which i guess is okay if like in my case i was a little shy I really had to resist the urge to tap off all of like the powder I picked up on my brush because I felt like it was a lot and it coated it so much. But even when laying it down, I didn't get as dark as I have now. Which, I mean, it's okay. That's not bad. It's fine. Then, I have plans now. I've thought this through a little bit. We're going to come in with this one towards the... We'll do like the inner corner, but more the lid, not so much the corner. I have plans for that one. Wow, see what I mean? Look at all this that it just picks up. And I really just wanna blam, tap it off, but I'm worried the pigment won't stick. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I definitely, is this the one? No, this is Harlow. But I really want to put this on my lower, my lower lid, <laughs> um, my lash line. Uh, down here, underneath my eye, I really like this one. I didn't think it was going to be great. I was really concerned at first because I'm like, oh, it looks like sand or a camel or a not great. Like in my viewfinder, it looks yellow. But here it's like a brown with a tint of yellow, which I mean, I know it's yellow brown, but, but hear me out. While we're on the subject, I'm just gonna come in and get it and we're going to the lash line. I wanna kinda stay away from over here cause I want this end to be darker, but we'll start middle to over here. Just the whole middle part, just the whole middle part. We'll get it all. And this is where putting your eyeshadow primer on your lower lash line would have paid off. I did not. That's okay. Um, I also, while I have my flat brush, I'm gonna come into this darker one, which I believe is called lash line. light bulb. I'm putting this on my upper lash line and either one, the upper or the downer, they are lash lines. It's been a day, okay? You know, my mind is just not all there. And I just tap into it a smidge. Don't rub it. Nothing. Tap it. And then we come in here and tap the pigment along the line. That's it. Nice. And then after I have like a good build up, sometimes I'll smudge it. Here we go. I'm impressed. I don't, I don't want to go to the other side because I'm worried it's not going to come out as good. But I know I want it to, so let's make it happen. Let's see, how did this one go up and out just like this? Yeah. A little. That's okay. Um, I still laid down some of the lash line on my lash line, so that's good. I feel like if you came in with a wet brush, you'd probably get more pigment without having to build it like I am, and it would stick a lot better. Like with some setting spray. There, okay. And again, wipe it, wipe, wipe, wipe off. Um, one thing I do wanna come in with now is these two little Shim Shim Charisse shimmers. I'm gonna do lighter to darker and this one is green glam and this one was satin skin. Um, that's not a creepy term. We're going to come in with satin skin. This is normal. And I'm going to use my finger because I love the color payoff when I use my finger compared to a brush. And I don't want to get my brushes wet right now. Um, and it's easier for me to just use my finger. Let's... Yeah, we'll use my finger. Creamy. 
it just coated it so well. All right. Pretty nice. Not the best, no. But still pretty nice. Hmm, huh, that's weird. I feel like it doesn't want to transfer onto my lid very well. Like, in my corner, yeah, but my lid, no. We're not happy. Why? Like, it's bunching up and caking up and, like, falling into creases immediately. That's weird. Better? Maybe it's just me. Nope, same thing. Okay, maybe coming with a brush would have been better. Or at least trying to start with a brush. Ew. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Um, I'm gonna wipe my finger off real quick, but uh uh, no, no, that's not good at all. Yeah, I don't like it. Do I have a flat? I have flat brushes. They're all kind of fat though. That's okay. I'm gonna try a flat brush, see if this does any better. Wow, we picked up a lot. Uh, no, I feel like I've already messed it up as far as I can mess it up. Good for me, look at me go. Now I know my limits. Okay. And we're gonna wipe this off. Green, glam green, not just green, glam green. See how this goes. Oh gosh. Um, okay. mix them in the middle here but uh it's doing the same thing it's caking on top of the matte shadows below why like do do we not get along we don't play well together i guess okay um dang that sucks oh Maybe it's just, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my lids. It, they don't, they do not want to play well together. Mm, mm, no. Let me, let me throw on some mascara real quick. Cause this is not, they're not happy. Okay, so I tried to do my lashes to help bring this all in together. And I feel, I feel like it's just a big mess. A big old mess. It kind of looks nice on my viewfinder when I'm far away, but I'm not far away. I'm right here. Mm -mm. And when I look at it up close, I don't, I don't know, I don't like it. Maybe the product just needs like a, a little bit of time. My oils haven't like really seeped through my makeup yet. <laughs> Let me tell you, they will. Don't worry. It happens. I'm like a glowing beast by the time i get to bed it's just maybe maybe it'll be better by then i don't know we'll see i'll have to see i'm gonna come in with my kylie lips today i have the lip liner in exposed and what are you this is the liquid lips matte liquid lipstick in exposed here we go match the match i love the lasting power of these so much. Not 
my bag. I feel like it's a little too light for me, but it's not super terrible. Not, not yet anyway. Anyway, have you tried the Kylie lippies? I don't know if it's like since she redid her formulas and they're like now vegan and vegetarian or something. I forget. Not only do they last forever, but their applicators have these adorable little like it's not just the doe foot, but it has like a little crater indent, a little a little gentle cradle, if you will, inside of the applicator right there. And it just scoops out so much more product, so I don't have to keep digging and digging and digging. It's, in my opinion, I think it's lovely. This shade is not 100% me. I can see why I left it in the box. This is meant to be gifted away. Still kind of goes with the look though. I mean the Natasha Denona palette, the Ayana palette. And it's not, it's not, it's not terrible. Let's go there. Let's sleep like, one step down. It's not terrible. It's, it's not for me. Mm -mm. Uh, this definitely needs to go elsewhere to maybe my nieces they might be cool toned like into the it's just I don't know it's not it's not me maybe if it was just these I could probably get away with it but the this one maybe threw me off in the colors I don't know what do you guys think of this palette have you tried it did you like it did you enjoy it did your colors mix well because that's I just feel like where'd you go I feel like mine did not. The mattes, beautiful, amazing. They did so well together. I loved it. I loved it. I did. The mattes, all one, two, three of them, did great. And then I added the shimmers, and it's... I'm not a happy camper. Mm-mm. No. Um, but I'll end it there. I don't have any other pleasant things to say, but um, let me know if you guys have tried this palette. Did you have any issues with any of the colors? Is it just me? Which I'm probably thinking it might just be me. We'll see how this goes after a couple hours. Maybe they'll heat up and like mix together and create some harmonious vibes. I have no idea where I'm going with that. No, but I just, I want, I want it to work. This is, this is, this is an expensive palette. It's not cheap. It's not like my little elf bite size or my wet and wild little things. Those I'm okay with not doing so well. Cause those are like what? Three, four, five dollars. This is not. I'm going to go now because the, like I said, the nothing super nice to say. Other than the mattes, I love those mattes. I love the mattes. They were great. They were fantastic. Amazing. There you go. Ended it on a positive note. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe because there's more to come in. And also, go check out my playlist of eyeshadows. There's a lot. Because I have a lot. It's ridiculous. I know. I like it though. I will catch you next time. Bye.